Hey guys, so today I'm going to be working on my jeans. Um, the design was heavily inspired by these tarot cards I have. Yeah, um, I'll be telling you details about like how I really got inspired by certain parts and tips and tricks if you ever want to do this for your own. Okay, so here's a sketch. I really recommend doing a sketch or just getting an idea of, or a gist of what you want to do. Um, I started sketching on with chalk onto the pants first just so I know where everything is to be placed. These are the tarot cards. Each one has like a space theme or they have a rabbit I was really inspired by. What I recommend doing is having the image that you're inspired by sketch it onto your sketchbook or whatever and then go ahead and do it onto whatever fabric you want to do it on. It really helps to see what you're doing and helps you understand which parts you actually want. Now here I'm filling in the little spaces of chalk with paint. The paint I used was not fabric paint. It was uh, paint that you use on your walls. Yeah, I recommend not doing that because I know this is probably gonna wash out in the washer. So either use fabric paint or use acrylic with texture paint or you could just use craft paint and the same thing happens where it's just, it, it's better on fabrics. Here I'm filling in all the spaces with the basic color which would be like uh, this neutral tone white but it's like creamish, I think. Yeah, and after that, I fill in the head of the rabbit and just leave a small part where I can know the difference between the head and the neck. It is very confusing if you do not do that. Um, here, I'm just filling in with little dots that I wanted to like hang down. I wanted to give it that kind of um, chandelier effect. Then I fill in the moon with a little bit more of the paint. I just feel like it wasn't round enough. And then now I'm filling in the ear with the pink paint. It's kind of like a pink, like peach paint. And also I'm putting the shades of the stars so I can know the different points of the stars when I draw over it with black. You want to do the darkest color last. Well, that's why I did the this kind of like secondary tone to make it look like two dimensional, I guess. Um, and I'm also putting some shadows onto the rabbit, the same shadows that were the same color of the edges of the stars. And here I'm putting in the black. Now with lining the black, you can mess up and just let it dry and then go over with paint. That's the great thing about paint. You can go over it. So just don't worry if you feel like your lines are messed up. Just go ahead and let it dry and then paint over the parts that you want to fix. And here I'm putting the highlights. Highlights literally make it look so realistic. I put highlights in the eyes and oh my gosh, it looks really good. I recommend putting highlight near the corner of an eye if it's an animal and just having like slight ones in the inside. I also put like a little star on the inside of the eye just to make it look like it's a little, I don't know, celestial. And here's with the moon. Now the moon, it, I'm, not sure if I did with a cartoony feeling so because I wanted to I just kind of wanted to match the stars while it kind of made the rabbit look more realistic and everything else look more cartoony um, do what you want these are your clothes or whatever you want with your art I just wanted to do a little more cartoony feel on the moon I just feel like it was just sitting there and it had no like, actual dimension and here I'm going over with um, a little brush just so I can get all that little hair texture and yeah, we're done. Here's how the pants came out. I really like how they look. Um, I really wish I used fabric paint, but yeah. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment what you want me to do next.